Step-by-Step -step Math Series presents Completing the Square, Part 5. All right. Now that we know a little bit about completing the square, let me show you the visual representation of completing the square. Uh, let's say we had uh, some type of box. In this case, x times x. Uh, to get the area of x times x, we just multiply, which gives us x squared. And let's say we also had another piece, um, a rectangle, 6 by x, which would be 6x. So if you see this more closely, it's x squared plus 6x, which equals to, in this case, 0. This would be kind of like the third step in... Um, completing a square where you make sure all the um, terms are in the correct order we move the constant over and we have only the the um, quadratic term and the linear term so this is how it looks uh, visually kind of interesting and then what you do is you take the 6 and you take half of it and the reason why you take half, and we'll show it here, is that we want to split it in half. We're going to be doing something with it in a minute here. So when we cut it in half, it's going to be 3 and 3. The x is still alone. So let's create those two bars there. So what's the next step? Well, we square, and that's going to be 3 square, which will be 9. Wow. 3 square, which is going to be 9. Um, so we create this um, part, this 3 by 3 part. So you have all those parts here. Now, if you continue on here, that's... Um, so that's going to be x squared plus 6x plus 9. And I'm going to add 9 over here too, just to keep it consistent. But we're only focused over here on the left. And this becomes x plus 3 squared, and this is equal to 9. So we created this perfect square trinomial. Uh, so x squared plus 6 became a perfect square trinomial. Now, that's a perfect square, meaning that's a square. Okay, let's see. So let's continue on here. Let's uh, move one of these orange bars and let's flip it. And we're going to move it over. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to move it over right here. And I'm going to take the oil, next orange bar and I'm going to move it here. What I'm doing is I'm trying to build a perfect square by these pieces. And I'm going to take the yellow one and I'm going to move it here. Wow. That is neat. That's a perfect square right there. Now, this perfect square is um, no mistake. You can see now how this is working. Uh, this says x plus 3 squared. This is a perfect square trinomial. Well, if we look at the bottom, the bottom is x and there's a 3. So if we add that, that's going to give us x plus 3 right here. And if we look at the uh, vertical here, we got an x here. We got a 3 here, so if we add those, that's going to be x plus 3. So we got that. And to get the area of this, we multiply it. So x plus 3 times x plus 3. That's really x plus 3 squared, which is this right here. So... When we complete the square, we're really trying to 
create a perfect square trinomial on the left side. In creating this perfect square trinomial, as you know, we take the square root on both sides. It helps us to get rid of the square, isolate the x, and it keeps on going. Because on the right side of the equation, we only have a number, a value. The whole idea is to isolate x, but um, it's very ingenious how completing the square you can visually see that you are creating a square. You're completing a square. And that's, that's pretty neat. I hope you enjoyed all the exercises. Um, and please continue on viewing the step-by-step -step math series.